Well, this is going to be the first video I've kind of done in like forever. My apologies, life tends to happen, so without further ado, let's move forward. In front of me is a box, um, and it has something I purchased from eBay a little bit ago, and we're going to kind of do an unboxing video to really get things started. So I'm going to get this label off here. here. Unboxing. Unboxing. Uh, I probably could have taken that label off first. Oh god. Like some people are too fond of sticky labels these days. Not that I blame them, but it makes things a little bit more of a pain. Let's see here. Okay. Yeah, me without getting a tripod beforehand. That's alright though. do this. This is not going to be as... No, I was wrong. Okay. Okay, cool. That takes care of that. It's all about having your own little kind of lab-ish setup that you can just throw stuff wherever you want and you can deal with it afterwards. So. Key copy that doesn't work anymore. Now it's just a glorified letter opener. Uh, well, I probably should, yeah. I will say they kind of packed it well, so I'm impressed so far. Well, not with how hard it is that that's it. And, of course, I have to... Oh, hell. Let's... Yeah, we're going to sit this down here. I think it'll be a little bit easier if I open it this way. Especially if it's on a flat surface. Yep. Wait for the day they put disclaimers out on boxes that say warning difficult to open. Yeah, who needs box cutters when you have a set of spare keys, right? Problem is I can't just simply handle this without. Of course, the only problem with using keys, even ones that aren't useful for anything else anymore, they may not always be the sharpest instruments, so they may not get the job done. At least not very quickly. You gotta force it. Good. Good night. Got it. And I'm trying to make sure I'm not breaking anything too. Because that 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 would not be very nice. Okay. Alright, 
Oh, you have got to be kidding me. They, see, they, they pack this well. So I'm going to give the seller credit with a steal on that. Yay, bubble wrap. My uh, favorite substance in the world. It looks like they, they pack this thing very well. I will give them credit where it is due. And, oh look, there's the power adapter. Just pull this out. And yeah, as you can tell, it's from, for a Lenovo system. But, it's not just any Lenovo system, really. This thing right here. Oh, man. I really, really don't want you to have an easy time opening it. Then again, I don't want it to have an easy time breaking, so... What is that? It is... It is I was able to find work. Uh, the kind of tape to that. I think they were very thorough. I'm just going to it out. I kind of want this thing out of the box now, and I want it unwrapped. I'm going to plug it in, turn it on, and we both can see what this thing does. Good. Good. And this is the part of unboxing that you probably don't get to experience very often. Well, the person trying to put this together is getting frustrated. I think an investment in a tripod's in order, maybe. Not yet. All the pens and a lot of stuff. I just want the thing to come out. All I want right now is for you to come out. If I can do this one-handed without uh, dropping the camera, it's going to be one thing. And of course, my thumb being right here. See right here, they, they packed this very well. You know what? I'm going to move this box out of the way. That would probably help. It might help if I just lay it on there impatiently. Which you might as well be using various four letter sleeves with me when you're talking about patience, please. I'm not always the most patient person, but today I'll have to be. Okay, so... And... Oh. Okay, I see how they wrapped it now. They did a good job of this. When I go to review this on eBay, I think they're going to be thrilled, and... Oh look, it's a Windows Vista key. Yeah, I don't care about that. Use that. They're not very useful unless you want a Vista license for whatever reason. And, and by the way, yes, Vista was that horrible. Because they were too forward thinking without giving people enough time to adjust and write drivers as appropriate, and they stabbed the beta testers in the back by like throwing a bunch of DRM crap in there without first saying, hey, this is coming. And I understand wanting to protect your quote unquote copyrights and things like that, but when it's anti consumer, I have a problem with it. And when it's anti-public domain, after so many years, I start to take issue with it. Okay, so here it is. It is a Lenovo system. It's a ThinkPad. Yay, ThinkPad! If you'll focus. Can you focus for me? Sorry, my hand's not very steady sometimes. Yep, ThinkPad. Um... You and I are going to see this for the uh, very first time, booting up. But before we get to that part, let's take a look at what we have. And yeah, I know that that uh, TV there has dust on it. I'll get to that in a minute. It's got a DVD burner combo drive. It's got, you know, the usual ports. I don't know if it's... 
And of course, here's the back port, the power port rather. Sorry, back port. God, we're getting really technical here into the nitty gritty. But the curious thing about this is, you know, besides VGA, it actually has Display Port. I believe that is, you know, carpet slots and other ports and what have you. Ooh, look, Ethernet. I think that's Ethernet. It's either Ethernet or a modem. I have to take a physical look at the thing again, just to see. And I'm not going to test to see if the battery's charged or not. Because honestly, yeah, that's the modem. That's the modem. You can see the little telephone thing there. Honestly, if the battery is shot, I know I can get another one. No big deal. Um... Oh, I almost forgot. That is actually FireWire all the way to the left. Suppose it at one point did support wireless, and you could put little cards in there, too, which is awesome. Okay. Okay. I probably should be a bit more careful here. Voila! The legendary ThinkPad keyboard. Yeah, this is kind of an old processor. And we're going to, if I can, and I doubt any of the ThinkVantage stuff will work on this one. Regardless of level of support that exists for this particular model, and you're probably going to see why in a moment. As soon as I get this rubber band off this power adapter, they, they did pack it pretty well. I will give them credit where it's due. Okay. And don't mind my heavy breathing. I do sound like Darth Vader. That's okay. None of us are going to ever be perfect at this. It's not that I'm going to be some popular brand influencer or anything. I'll get that rubber band off later. I, I've i been meaning to make this for weeks, and I have not had a chance to do it. Oh. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do this while... Okay. So, with that in mind... Well, it looks like the lights were on, so the lights were on, as you can see. Now I just wish it would focus. There we go. See the lights that are on? And uh, let's try the power button and see what happens. I don't know if anything special will happen, but here goes. Oh my goodness. See that? Yeah, that took like two seconds. Now hopefully, hopefully this was done in OEM mode. I can't remember. Because if, if it was, then I can just use a username and password. kind of booted up pretty quickly though. I gotta say I'm impressed. And of course, um, you know, obviously this isn't Windows. Although it does have a good, good style layout. So that right there. You can tell obviously this is, uh, this is not know that at all but as you can see oh it does have some life to it so that it's at 68 percent I don't know if we'll go beyond that don't mind my computer behind me it likes to chime in every now and then I wonder if audio works on this thing uh, 
Unmute. Volume 64 percent. Sound settings dot dot dot. Volume 64 percent. Unmute. Oh, it does work, and unfortunately, this operating system that was released. Bottom expanded edge panel frame. Bottom expanded edge panel panel. Shut down dot dot dot. Lock out user dot dot dot. Lock to Oh screen. god, system where menu. do I find this? Reflexive menu. Hardware menu. Displays. Keyboard. Keyboard shortcuts. Mouse. Power management. Mouse. Keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard. Displays. Keyboard. Displays. Keyboard. Keyboard shortcuts. Okay. Startup applications preferences. Startup programs page tab. Okay, see this here? We're going to go. We're going to remove. Additional startup programs colon. Table with remove push button. We're going to remove. That. Icon view layered pane zero items. The good news is audio works. Bottom expand. Alert. Shut down this system now. You We're going to restart this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I find this. Screen readers are great, but they are annoying. So. Okay, notice. Load operating system, fully encrypted disks. And you notice this little caption up here, free as in freedom. Um, this is using firmware called Libre Boot. And the idea behind it is it, it has non-proprietary firmware. So in other words, they flashed custom firmware onto this ThinkPad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. As you can see, it just almost like that. And I don't think there's a, I'm not sure if there's a solid state drive in there or not. But it doesn't take too terribly long to boot up. I don't think there's a solid state in there if memory serves. Yep. It just, if it were a solid state, it would be almost instantaneous. Screen reader on. Notification Wi-Fi networks available. Use the network menu to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Oh. Shut down dot dot dot. Lock out user dot dot dot. Lock screen. That, that, slash remove applications. Other menu. Deconf editor. Other menu. Okay. App slash remove applications. Places menu. System menu. Preferences menu. Hardware. Assistive technologies preferences. Preferred app enable assistive technologies checkbox checked changes to alert lock out of this system now cancel push button assisted to close push button bottom X alert restart okay I tried removing it from startup items that didn't work sorry I just find that annoying other people may need a screed reader I don't <laughs> And for whatever reason, fresh installs of Triskel, which is what this is called, do that. Don't ask me why. It is annoying. And of course, it's... Screen reader on. <sighs> Notification Wi-Fi network. Okay. Shut down dot dot dot. Lock out user dot dot dot. I don't Lock understand screen. why this System menu. mouse Places power. menu. Other menu. Places menu. App slash remove applications. System menu. Lock screen. System menu. Preference. Control center frame. Text. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to turn certain applications off. Appearance. Assistive technologies. Assistive technologies preferences. Preferred oh. applications. Close okay. push button. Assistive technologies preferences. Text. Icon view layered. 
Okay, come on. And you know, notice it tap it just boots up like that. And oh hey, it turned off. And look, it's detecting Wi-Fi networks. And I'm just gonna kinda move this down here because well I don't need to see anything. Okay, cool. I'm connected to network, and we're going to see if I can find what the specs of this hardware is. Well, software updates. Yep, accessories. Do 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 do. Yeah. Do 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 trying to remember where that one application is but yeah as you can see pretty standard menu might as well start the control center like it doesn't have the system monitor app here. Ah, uh, that is frustrating, isn't it? But I will find it, because I know I know it is here somewhere, because I aha, I just kept skipping over it. Okay, so it's running this version of Triskel. They call it GNU slash Linux. Long story. Oh, this has 8 gigs of RAM in it, though some of it's being used for video memory. Dual core Intel processor. It's the Core 2 Duo P8400. And the hard drive's not that big. In all honesty, I could probably clone it or something, but... I don't need that big of a hard drive. As you can see right here, it's kind of spiking here. And we're going to do something. I know I have it here somewhere. We're going to run if they have it. Because as, as you can see right here, this does use 3D acceleration. And 
and it does okay with at least with the test. It's meant for a testing application only. I wouldn't game with this per se. So it would more than work. for this. So we scroll up. It's a yep, mobile four chipset series. So though this is an older system, it runs really well on it. And as you can see, I can do a lot of things that, okay, like notice how, let's see how fast a fully dedicated office suite loads. Oh, hit. What it did. Ah, uh, that's all right. I may have accidentally hit uh, math, but that's okay. Although it does come in handy for those who want to be able to put in formulas and all that. Okay, cool. And a non-branded browser, which is unbranded Firefox, more or less. I would go with GNU IceCat just for just for uh, theme's sake, but the problem with it is that it is out of date, <laughs> and this. A little bit it basically more or less says look it's a browser and they call it a browser which is okay and 64-bit build of course the usual links to Triskel, GNU, Free Software Foundation, Libre Planet, what have you The funny thing is, this whole system, which I gotta see if I've got drivers I can update on this anyway. I don't think this thing has been updated. Oh, crud. I don't know what the password is. Well, we are going to make a wild guess and I was right so I probably will want to change that at some point but and this does not use any proprietary software at all so you may be thinking for those of you who are Linux geeks and what have you this is uh, you know yeah, AMD should work or maybe maybe you already know that unfortunately because of the firmware that AMD graphics tends to have it's considered a no-go by those who want primarily free software part of the thing by by purism is that they wanted to bring more modern hardware to the forefront but again, you're going to run into problems. Let's see how well this does. It's downloading pretty well, but then again, I'm not that far from the router anyway. We're watching as individual files are like going crazy downloading. And more or less, I 
Oh yeah, we're going pretty quickly. So as you can pretty much tell, the booting is pretty quick because a lot of the cruft was removed. All the drivers are working pretty well. I could probably put this in a, uh, get one of those docks for this, add more ports to it, and have, you know, a lot of features that, you know, a lot of people, frankly, wouldn't mind. And if I am to do certain forms of content, I kind of want to open it up to certain audience members. And this would be a good way to do it. right now this so this video is over 30 minutes long I figured why not do this because it's been a while and I figured why not and as you can see this is this is kind of kind of doing pretty good in terms of installing everything didn't take very long to get the updates. It's doing all the 64-bit stuff. And effectively, I might add. And this, I want to, it's kind of an important point I want to make that the cool part about projects like these, are you going to be able to, you know, play Netflix on there? Well, no, because, uh, you would have to install a browser that supports Widevine DRM. So you can't Netflix and chill on this thing per se. And I'm not sure you'd be able to watch much in the way of videos on this either unless you installed certain codecs that may or may not be problematic, but this system is pretty responsive. 8 gigs of RAM, custom firmware on here, Libre boot specifically, and I believe this is the very model of system that after, after people were able to get Libre boot on this thing working, Free Software Foundation basically labeled it as a device that respects your freedom. But the cool thing about these projects is that they can be used to kind of prevent otherwise useful pieces of machinery like this that probably would struggle with, say, Windows 10 from winding up in a landfill not getting used. And I, I may actually get a Triskel thing and peel the sticker off and put it on there in its place. But this thing has a plethora of ports. If I want to cover free and open source software related stuff, I can just take this with me and do it on that. And it'll keep me up to date on, on goings on and what have you. But that's primarily the reason why I wanted to do this to see how 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 a computer that's been modified like this can can operate. And apparently it's pretty darn well. Like like this is hard disk is being written to like crazy and yet here we are. It's responsive. Doesn't give me any grief. And I'm able to do normal stuff with it. So, that's kind of the exciting thing. And hopefully you'll be seeing more videos from me. This is kind of a long one, long-winded one. And I'm sure as time goes on, I'll get a lot better at putting these things together. It's just, it's been a while since I tried to create any content, let alone video content. So, what I will do right now is 
let this keep running in the background and stop this recording and get it copied onto the computer back behind me and hopefully, hopefully, things will cooperate in terms of editing and what have you. Anyway, until next time, this is Thomas with Retro x86, bringing new life to old hardware and software. Well, in this case, the software's kind of new-ish. It just caters better to older things. That still worked fine. Talk to you later.